there's a chance that I will come back to this painting another time. Right now I'm just not feeling it anymore so that's why I just gonna put it aside and uh, we'll look at it for a while until I make a decision whether I want to keep working with this or just scrap it completely or just leave it like it is. Call it a day. Guys, this painting was a roller coaster. <laughs> Everything in between, I hate it, I love it, I'm kind of neutral about it, or maybe I love it, or maybe I don't. Everything. <laughs> It just, it was crazy. And you know what? I thought I am going to show you what this is really about. I always give a title like oil painting process and I want you to show everything about the process. So let's get started. I gave it a blue acrylic wash because when I paint very light skin I like to have something that isn't white so it's easier for me to find the right values. I don't necessarily need that but I find it easier to do so. So that's what I did. The only two purposes of the first oil painting layer is actually to cover up the canvas and to give me a direction where my highlight should go, where my shadow should go and of course where my mid-tone should go. And I don't take any attention to any details or blending or whatever. I just put down the color and then I wait until this is dry. I am done with the first layer. I am super excited. I love the colors and I thought I'm going to have a lot of problems painting this blue eyeshadow, which turned out to be quite easy actually. And I am super happy with how it turned out. So I am happy to go back painting because the first layer is dry. So moving on. So this painting is done on a canvas panel. I usually work with wood panel, which I prefer, but I just recently found that out because I only used this canvas panel twice. And I prefer wood panel because I can make sharper edges and with canvas panel I can do that as good as I could do it with wood panel. That's the only reason why I prefer wood panel over canvas panel. For the rest it's just, it works just fine. Even though it came pre-primed, I did a layer of gesso over it just because I heard they use a very cheap primer for this canvas panel and then it will just suck up the paint in the first layer and I didn't want that. Especially when you put the high prices of oil paint in consideration, you know? So I'm done with the second layer and I think I went a little bit overboard with my blending to be honest. I kind of killed all the vibrant colors and the dynamic which I had created in the first layer which is bothering me a lot. But I'm not sure if I am going to work this back in, you know? I'm very torn in between these two trying to make it work as it is or try to get the first layer back if you know what I mean. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Thank you. 
I'm probably going to add a dirty pink background and then there is a shadow area underneath her skin and I am thinking about and make this a real vibrant pink and that's also something I'm thinking about because if I add this very saturated pink maybe the skin would look better than the way it is right now so I don't know what to do. I think I just keep going and then I will figure it out along the way. That's the fun part, right? So let's see what happens. <laughs> So as you might can see, I only did a few changes to the face and that's because I got a little bit timid to be honest. I was afraid of messing this up more than it already is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do about that. The thing I'm, I'm sure about is that I want to change the background because I uh, don't like the color at all. Also the pink shadow, it's supposed to be a shadow but it doesn't read as one. It just looks like a weird shape in the background. I don't fancy much to be honest. I think the eyes turned out very good but for the rest it's a little bit flat. <laughs> So I mixed a batch of a warm gray color to adjust the background. Let's get started. I did a very sloppy work with the shoulder and neck area. I think it's because I don't really see this as an important part of the portrait. The thing is, it would be a good practice for me to go back in and try to fix that, but I don't see the point when it wouldn't do any good to the painting at all. So I think I'm just gonna go back to the floating head thing. I really like that one in my last painting. Just changing the color of the background actually can help me get motivated again. I just got that all in my... <laughs> that didn't work. That didn't work at all. I like the background much better the way it looks right now. However, I think I want to give the face somewhat more depth, I guess. We will see. I have to wait a couple of days before I can come back with painting because obviously the background needs to dry and then I have plenty of time to rethink what I am planning to do next. And those are my gold leaf scratches I have. I always keep them because they might come in handy just like right now. I don't need any adhesive since the background is still wet and I just dab it on there. There were many ups and downs making this painting but i'm glad i didn't give up because i learned a lot and i think this is the most important thing it doesn't matter what the painting looks like in the end for me it's more important that i have made mistakes and learned something from that i'm very glad that i changed the background because this looks much better than the pink one i had before i think it has a calmer presence to it than it did before and i like the gold leaf but i'm always a fan of gold leaf <laughs> can step myself and I was able to amplify some highlights and shadows in the end but I didn't really get the depth into it that I was going to it's still a little bit flat but that is something I can remember the next time and try to make it better so let's say this isn't my best work but it's also not my worst so I declare this painting as finished and I'm going to start a new one right now Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to here, you're my favorite person in the world. See you in the next time. Bye.